What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Everton career mode here on AJ Free Plays where apparently we are just a career mode channel now but we'll be sorting that out. We have got some of the Spider-Man stuff and I will go back to making some more Ultimate Team videos. I really want to make a market crash video for you guys in terms of like what squad you should be using for the market crash. So if you've got any ideas for ridiculously good value players now that the market is falling into oblivion, pop them down in the comment section. Anyway, on to this episode of career mode where... To be honest, if you're most of you guys in the comment section of the last episode, we're just wetting yourself at me giving a, a million a week to Mr. Rodriguez. And uh, the rest of you were fuming at me for fuming at John Joe Kelly. I mean, it was, I was kind of just messed up for the video. It's kind of funny. I, did, I can't, did we sell him? I'm pretty sure we sold him, didn't we? Yeah, we got rid of him. Did we sell him to Leicester? It's been a little while since I filmed that. My head's gone. Yeah, yeah, we got we binned John Joe Kelly off for asking for a 200 grand signing on bonus. Get in a bin, John Joe, mate. No, okay. Anyway, we got Hakimi. He's actually got a little little note for us over here. And I did see in the news section about him having a lacklustre debut, but hoping to improve. So if we go to here, he says, Boss, I know people have been talking about me, the person you respect me in. I just wanted to say I'm ready to do whatever's necessary to make us successful. I'm happy to play as a right back if that's part of your plan. Do you know what, Hakimi, mate? You're an absolute legend. And that's exactly what I want. However, somebody did comment in the comment section. I was thinking about this one myself as well. After I'd done it, I was like, actually, would it be smarter to do it this way? And then someone else commented it, and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try and see what happens. So if we go to Hakimi, these other people did also point out to me that even though it says it's going to take 69 weeks for him to become a right back, if he plays well, it will go quicker. However, it's only going to take him 38 to become a right wing back. So I'm actually going to move him onto that one because at least in hopefully, I don't know, 20, 25 weeks or something like that, if he plays well, I don't really know how much it affects it. He'll be a right wing back, which is closer to right back where he's playing. He's only playing slightly out of position. And then we can move him to a right back, which I think is probably the best way to do it. So we're going to do that. We're going to move him into a right wing back. And then we'll subsequently move him into a right back if we need to. And the other thing you guys are laughing at me for was because I said I wanted Awa to be an attacking player. And then put him on box to box. Look, it gives us better finishing. It gives him better pace. It gives him better short passing. It gives him agility and ball control and stamina. You guys can get in the bin. I know what I'm doing right. You didn't win the Premier League and the FA Cup in your first season as Everton manager. I did. Anyway, moving on. Somebody else did say, so I've, I've just been through and read all of your guys' comments on what you guys are saying about the youth squad. And we have got actually some pretty good youth players in the youth academy. So two, to be honest with you, mainly. We've got this Vogt guy and we've got this Medina guy. And potentially Goodmanson could be really, really good as well. We just need to find out if he tends more towards the 76 or the 94. Whereas we already know that this guy is tending towards 90, which is crazy. And the same goes for Medina. You basically told me, wait until they get like 65, 70 rated. And, or if they complain about needing to move up to the first team and want to cancel the contract, then move them to the first team and loan them out. But for now, just leave them in the Youth Academy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're just going to jump into some of the games. To be honest with you, this season we are mostly focused on the Champions League. And winning the Champions League, we won the Community Shield on penalties, which was good against City. And the thing I am most worried about is there is no Champions League fixtures in my calendar. Don't know if it's broke or if I just need to wait for the draw. I mean, it does say here, objectives overview, reach the final of the Champions League. They're not very, they don't aim very high, do they? They don't want much from me in my second season as Everton manager. Just get to the final of the Champions League. Okay. Anyway, we've already done this one because we signed Hakimi. I need to get 10 clean sheets. I need to reach the final of the Champions League. We need to win the Premier League and the FA Cup. So you want me to do the treble, basically. If we win that game in the Champions League final, do you want me to do the treble? So I suppose we should probably get cracking. So first game of the Premier League season is Burnley at home. And Yeri really wants to play. I'm going to be nice to him. Am I going to play him? Is he even on the bench? Let me see. Jabaman and Holgate are playing. Yeri is on the bench. And he's not happy. He's an unhappy man. Holgate is happy. Jabaman's only content, which is awkward because he's the one who I would drop out for Mina to give Mina a run. This managerial malarkey is hard, isn't it? Balancing them. Gomez isn't a happy chappy. Keane's all right. Ducore is. Godfrey is. He knows that he's going to be a backup. I can't believe this Sims guy is... Always fuming at me. Poor Michael Keane. He's like our best centre-back. Oh, him and Holgate are our best centre-backs in real life. But he's been binned off, unfortunately, on the crew mode. Aguilar is content. Awobi is a happy chappy. And Davies is content. Okay, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. 
It's basically just me in a moment. So, do you know what? Don't let me down, Yuri. You've asked for it. I'm playing you. I need a good performance from you. That's not what I was thinking about, to be honest with you. Conceding to a Kone in the first minute. Or the first 10 minutes against Burnley. And then drawing one all. And you got booked. Did he play well? No, he didn't. He was the second worst performer. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. He's going to come to me and he's going to say, thanks for playing me, boss. And I'm going to say, play better next time, Yerry. Right then. Into the next game we go. After a very, very lackluster start. What we did go and do is our scouts that we sent to the Ivory Coast has started to come up with some players. So this guy is potentially a 94. 70 to 94, so we'll have to see. But he's already 64 rated, which is pretty cool. And then this dude is already 62 rated and he's 78 to 94, which is insane as well. So we picked both of them up and we've signed them for our youth academy. So they're a little bit older than some of the ones. They're a couple of years older than Goodmanson, for example. But still potentially very, very good. So we'll see how they come. We'll keep doing the youth academy for a little bit for now. And we've got Newcastle away from home up next. Now... Do I play? I don't think I'm going to play Yerimina, you know. I really don't. He had a stinker. We let him play. He played terrible. You've bottled it, mate. You've bottled it, Yeri, mate. You've lost your chance. That's probably our most full-strength team. So I'm going to roll with that. And I really hope to get me a result because that was a very, very stinky start against Burnley. Premier League champions won all first game of the season. We've just lost to Newcastle. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is this the champion's curse? What is going on? Everyone played terrible. Oh no, this has gone very badly at the start of the season. It doesn't, it's only the start of the season. It's not the end of the world. It's only been two games. But I would have quite liked to be up there with Chelsea and Liverpool. And someone very helpfully also pointed out in my chat whilst looking at the tables that it's the playoffs currently and the qualifying and stuff like that for the Champions League. The draw hasn't been yet. And once it has, we will be able to see whose group we're in and who we're playing against and stuff like that. So we're having a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. And I might have to who we play let's see who we're playing next we got chelsea i think i'm gonna have to interactive sim it you know and potentially jump in if need be because we're having a bit of a nightmare start to the season this is not good this is not good at all we have just got 1.3 million oh 1.3 million is our transfer budget i don't think we're gonna sign anyone though as we sold Ellis Sims, finally, finally can stop moaning for 1.75 million. Go and play for somebody else you might actually get a game for and stop crying to me. Right. We're having a bit of a mare. The sharpness is bad. The morale is bad. The fitness is good. So I think I need to take over and come in and make sure the lads get a win. And then hopefully we can start generating a bit of form and they'll be able to perform without me being involved in every single game. I'll be able to just quick, some of, quick sim some of them once we've got the form up. So... We're going to simulate the Chelsea game. And if it starts going badly, I'll hop in and just try and get the lads some form and try and get them playing again because we've had a very, very shaky start to the season as Premier League champions and we need to get the form going before we go into the Champions League. I was hoping to be able to sim some of the Champions League group games, but we might have to interactive sim them, like quick sim them, I mean, and just be like, yeah, easy game. We're playing against, I don't know, somebody from the Ukrainian League or something like that. And then we'll just smash them. But... That's worrying after losing to Newcastle and drawing to Burnley. So I need to get the fitness. The fitness is up, sorry. I need to get the sharpness and the morale up. And then hopefully the boys will start performing for me without me being in direct control of them. Who's winning most of them. Okay, okay, okay. 33 minutes in. Timo Werner has scored. We're going in. We need to rescue this for the lads. We can't be having one point from our first three games at the start of the season. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, almost straight away. Dom on the head from a Richie Cross. Okay, we can get back into this. We can get back into this. Oh my God, that was so close. He's in such good form in real life as well. We need to get him firing in, in my career mode. Go on, Dom. Go on, Dom. There we go. There's one all. The classic Everton Richarlison to Calvert-Lewin link up play. Just like real life. All right, there's half time. We've come back in. We've taken control of the game and we've brought it back to one all. It could have been, again, Richarlison to Calvert-Lewin. It could have been 2-1. That was very, very close. Right, we're feeling good. We're feeling better. Can they switch around the opposite way? Yes, they can. Calvert-Lewin to Richarlison this time. 
And it's a beautiful finish. The pace of them two up front. Oh, and he's even doing his pigeon celebration. Go on, the boys. Oh, have it off. Zayek on for Chelsea to try and get back into this game. They've been dominating possession, to be honest with you. I've been struggling to get hold of the ball in the second half, but no real chances from them. Yeah, you can see there. Look at that 69% possession they've had. Oh, no. Oh, big save, Pickford. Right. We finally, finally got the ball. Okay. Let's see if we can... They are absolutely all over us. So we could do with a third goal just to put the game a little bit more out of sight. Transfer confirmed to Napoli for Thielmans. Ooh, okay. We need to go and have a look at some of the crazy transfer window dealings, actually. Because we've made two big signings ourselves. We're going to have a look at what everybody else has been making. Go on, Adama. Go on, Adama. Go on, Dom. Get in the box. There he is. He's back post. Oh, he's put it over the bar. Oh, he's cleared. Oh, that was a great defensive header then. What about this one? What about this one? <laughs> Big save from Kepa. Oh, it's beautiful from Calvert-Lewin. There we go. There we go. There's the 3-1. What a player. What a player. Right, let's get some subs on. Do you know what? Andre Go I'm bringing on Ducore because he's really good. I'm bringing on Holgate because he's really good. Andre Gomez isn't a happy chappy either. So I'm going to bring him on for our. Will I was going to bring Keane on for Calvert-Lewin. But I'll bring on Gomez because Keane's reasonably happy. Oh my god, Richarlison. So good. Oh, he's got so much pace against Zappa Costa as well. Surely that's four. Oh my god, a dammer, you clown. Comfortable. Comfortable in the end. And we're back to not being stood on the side of the pitch. In a full Everton kit, which is great. You'd love to see it. Yeah, okay. Hopefully that gives the boys some confidence. Bit of form. Bit of sharpness. And we can start putting some results together. Yeah, he still isn't happy. Even though he's played both games. I did sub him off. And he is going back to the bench. Because now Holgate's content instead of happy. So he's coming back in. Because Yeri's not been playing very good. So, who have we got next? And I'm excited to see this Champions League draw is up. End of August. Somebody said in my chat. We've got Brighton away. Let's skip all the way to that. Let's see what Ducore has got to say. He's playing well, feeling really good. Hope that means I won't be on the bench for the game against Brighton. I think about it, I guess. I don't really know. Some of the boys, a lot of the boys have gone off in international duty and we've had a match rescheduled. I don't know if that's because of Champions League. I don't think so. Surely it would have given me a little notification if the draw had been done, which means we can just jump straight into the Brighton game. You are on the bench, Ducore, mate. But that's only because of our and James Rodriguez. Eh? I wouldn't be too worried about it. And you will come on. Don't worry. Oh, oh, that is bad. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. What's just happened to Calvert-Lewin? A light... What is a light injury? I don't know, but I'm not risking it. I'm just going to... Do I bring Keen on? I'm going to bring Keen on. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, it's fine. Hopefully, it's only a week. Half time. Calvert-Lewin had to come off injured. Ratings-wise... Most of them are playing all right, to be honest with you. Other than Awa and Ducore was moaning about not playing. So I'm going to bring Ducore on. And once again, against Brighton, I'm going to jump into the game. Go on, Richie. Go on, Richie. Ducore, off the bench. 1-0. There we go. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, Pickford. Oh my god, Holgate, you are a wizard. What a tackle that is. I'm going to get Andre Gomez on. To try and shore up the midfield. We're having... We are winning. And we did take our chance well. But this is a close game. This is scary because we need to get three points off Brighton. Oh, it's such a good save. That is such a good save. Ducore definitely should have got on the end of it. But that's the end of the game. Wow. That was proper... Nervy scraping a 1-0 win away from home against Brighton. The big, big, big question after that game, though, is, is Calvert-Lewin okay? It seems like it. He seems all right. Do Corey's buzzing. Hey, Gaffa, thanks for listening to what I had to say. I really appreciate the chance to play while I'm in such good form. Great performance, Do Corey, mate. Well done. Dom's okay? No injury? No injury. Match fit. Oh, okay, brilliant. So it was probably a good idea to bring him off then. Make sure that he's fit for the next game, as we did get the three points anyway. That is very, very nice. Hakimi's in bad form. And it's really frustrating me. Like, it keeps doing articles about how he's playing bad and stuff like that. But I think he's playing good. He's a right back now. He's not a right mid. He's on minus one 
through his sharpness and stuff like that. So it's going to take him ages to go up through his developmental plan to become a right wing back, which hopefully he'll then be able to actually get some form because I, I assume it's the way the game's judging him. He's not getting any assists and stuff like that. He's got 25 weeks left to go to become a right wing back. So that's pretty good. He's ahead to schedule. But apparently I'm down to 79 rated manager having just won the league, which is an interesting one. We don't really care about that. We basically just want to do well in the league and do well, most importantly, in the Champions League. And we want Ducore to become a right wing back. Right, it's transfer deadline day. Let's have a look at some of the top deals this transfer deadline. So, Awar to Everton for 88.5 million. Lukaku to Hobby Leipzig for 90. Davies to Real Madrid for 80. De Yarby to Wolfsburg for 70. And Hakimi to Everton for 70. We're big spenders. Guedes to Inter for 68. Koke to PSG for 65. Ben Yedder to Atalanta. Ocampos to PSG. Leipzig are going big, aren't they? Leon Bailey to Leipzig for 56 million, as well as Lukaku to Leipzig for 90 million. Kyle Walker's gone to Barca. Real Sociedad have bought someone for 51 million. I'm not even sure he is. There's a Kone to Burnley for 50 mil. Burnley have got mental. Isaac to Wolves. Harry Maguire to Real Madrid. There are some mental transfers here. Harry Maguire to Real Madrid. Klosterman to Lazio. Jack Grealish to Sevilla. Tovan to Roma. Renato Sanchez to Newcastle. Ariola's gone to Juve. Oscar's gone to AC. Atal's gone to Sevilla. Jimenez to Bayern. How old is Jimenez? Jimenez, actually. He's 30. Oh, wow. Okay. That's an interesting one. Any other crazy ones? Lindelof's gone to Roma to join Chris Smallen. Rabiot's gone to here for Berlin. McTominay's gone to Napoli. Tagliafico to Chelsea. We've just played against him. Fairpo's Fairpo gone to Bayern as well. Lucas Moura's gone to Atalanta. There's some crazy transfers here. Look at this. This guy without a face has been sold to Brighton for 30 mil. <laughs> Aaron Ramsey to West Ham. Interesting. Okay. And then the latest ones. There's loads of stuff going on. Gamero has just gotten to Newcastle at age 34. PK to Napoli. There's some proper crazy deals here, isn't there? Rufier to Southampton. Absolutely bloody mental. The computer's going crazy and it's doing all sorts of mad stuff. Ross Barkley to Torino. Okay, I mean, that one's not super unrealistic, I guess. He's out on loan, isn't he? Danny Welbeck and Danny, Danny Rose become a free agent. He'll be going straight to Daniel. No, no words coming from Milan then. Nothing from Milan, Daniel. Nothing from Milan, so we had to go to Nice. Anyway, anyway, let's jump through deadline day. I can't imagine anything crazy happening, but you never know. You never know. There you go. Someone's just gone to Betis for 19 mil. Xerxes to Barca for 4 mil. Okay, DC United spent splash in the MLS cash. Hakimi's effort and struggles aren't continuing. Calm down game. It's fine. He's playing good. Harrit to Marseille for 36 million. And then into the final hour of deadline day we go. Any craziness right at the end? I don't know. It's disappeared. Cool. So that was our deadline day. Or that was our transfer window. We did all of our business in the last one, didn't we? We have got 40 mil that we could have spent. But I don't really think we need to target anyone. Like, there's a lot of discontent from some players not getting out to play because we've got so many good players anyway. I think the squad's pretty good. I don't think we're too and too bad at all. 745 million was spent. Quite a significant amount of that, to be honest with you, <laughs> was by us. We spent like 130 million or something mental like that. 130 million to lose to Newcastle at the start of the season. Fuming. The big question actually is now, is where on earth is our Champions League draw? There we go. Dortmund, Ajax, Celtic. There's actually no easy games there at all, is there? Wow. Okay. Okay. Celtic is obviously the easiest one. It's hard to pick between the other two, actually. The way Ajax have been doing in the Champions League the past few years in real life. Dortmund is a very, very difficult game. See, like, if we had Antwerp or something like that in our group, I'd be like, okay, maybe we can quick sim that one. But our group's actually pretty difficult. I wouldn't want to gamble on a quick sim against Celtic and potentially drop points and not go through. City have got Napoli, Galatasaray, Dynamo Kiev, Juve, Villarreal, Leverkusen, Slavia Praha. Atleti, Wolves, Wolves are in the Champions League, Leon, Spartak, Moscow, PSG into Porto, CSKA, 
there's Leipzig splashing all the cash. They've got a very, very... Both Red Bull teams, actually, in the one group. Barca and Milan. Spurs, Bayern. Wow. Okay. That is some serious, serious Champions League groups. I feel like after Ducore coming on off the bench and getting us the winner, we should definitely put him into the starting eleven. Chris Wood has just got player of the month. Okay. I mean, he did barely did well against us, to be fair. Ooh, Robert Schaefer is looking to cancel his contract, apparently. Is he any good? No. See you later, Robert. Cool. All right. Squad for Southampton. I feel like Hamis hasn't actually been playing that good. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Do I bring Ducore in for our... Yeah. Okay. Ducore can have a run in the team. He has been playing really good. Here we go, then. Let's have a good performance, Ducore. Show me that you're worthy to come into the team actually from the start instead of our... To be honest, he played sick in real life yesterday. Yesterday? No. Two days ago. Played really, really good. Bag to goal. Ends up being the winning goal because of how terrible we played in the second half. <laughs> Let's see if he can do the business against Southampton here. Well, that's a terrible start. That's a very terrible start, to be honest with you, boys. I'm going to give you... I'll give you still half time to try and pull it back because that's only the 11th minute. Sort yourselves out. Come on. Go on! There we go. Traore one all. Much better. Okay. We trusted the boys to do the business themselves. And hopefully they're going to repay us. Or not. Lamina is scored again. That was an interesting first half. Hamez is not having a good time. He's really not having a good time this season, actually, after being top scorer in the Prem last season. Lamina is having the game of his life. I can't believe we're losing to Southampton, to be honest with you. It's really not good. It's really not good. If we don't score in a minute, I'm going to have to jump in. I was going to give them to half time. They did score without me last time. But it's not looking good. I'm going in. I'm going in. I can't be bothered with this. Shocking performance. Shocking. Go on, Hammers. Oh, surely he finishes it from here. What a save, man. Oh, and again. Who is this guy in goal? Surely. Surely. Oh, my God. This is honestly ridiculous. It's like playing foot champs. Oh, it's actually like playing foot champs. No way. No way. Go on, Hakimi. That's a great run from fullback, mate. Beautiful from Hakimi. Okay. Prove the doubt is wrong. There's two all. There's two all. Come on, last gas winner. Come on, Richie. I need to pick the right pass here. It's to do Corey. Back-to-back -back games. Oh, how are they getting so many blocks in? Oh, if we'd have scored the winner in back-to-back -back games, that would have been so good. Oh, that really was last chance saloon, wasn't it? That's a terrible ball. If we don't get it back immediately. Oh, come on. 40 seconds. That's the end of the game, innit? That's the end of the game. Two all at home. Against Southampton. Wait, is the ref not blown up? Okay, he's going to blow up. We came in and we rescued a point. But that is poor. They are annoyed. I will be annoyed. Two all against Southampton home having just won the league. I, to be honest with you, I can't, the amount of chances we created once I took over, I can't believe we didn't win. Angus Gunn has had the game of his life. Look at that. Look at them stats. Here comes the Champions League. <gasps> Our first game in the Champions League is against Celtic. It's away. It's in the groups. And I'm going to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode number eight of the Kareem Rose. We will be starting our Champions League campaign in episode number nine. This is exciting. This is very, very exciting. So if you take a look at our calendar, we have got Celtic away from home Ajax away from home Ajax at home Celtic at home and then the Dortmund game away and by if I missed one of them I think I must have missed the Dortmund game by the end of December we'll have played all of our group games so I think that is probably something there's the there we go there's the Dortmund game 
just after so the next couple of games we've got Celtic and then Dortmund so in the next episode we might power through and finish off the group stages we'll see how long it takes us to go but for this one we're gonna leave it I hope you guys have enjoyed it we'll be kicking off our Champions League campaign in episode number nine and I'll see you guys then for some more career mode <laughs>